Okay, the golf cart with the live axle. I used a piece of one and a half inch by two and a half inch steel tubing. You can see right here in between the swing arm and the pillow block bearings. I drilled one end to bolt to the swing arm like the axle did, the factory axle, and the other end drilled to mount the pillow block bearings. So it works as both the spacer and an adapter. And the engine plate motor mount is a piece of one, and a, one inch by two inch steel tubing all the two the front of the swing arm and to this cross brace connecting this rear of the swing arms. Use the angle iron to mount the brake caliper and the lower shock mount I had to make a strap of metal to mount the lower end of the shock bracket because it mounted to the axle housing. The axle housing is no longer there. There you can see the sprocket, the drum brake that didn't work. I have a disc brake on there now. The disc brake's only a six inch disc brake. I wish I would have went bigger, but I can redo it at some point. and a motor plate on top of the engine mount brace and that's really about all there is to it.